my channel. I'm here today with a hair hack. What this is, is this is the I Wish Peruvian Curly Wave. And I got this in a 10 inch, two 10 inch bundles and one 12 inch bundle and it's sewn in. But I decided to do a little leave out. So I decided, decided to do a leave out today. Well, when I did this install and my hair of course is dyed. And this is like my natural hair here. And I try to like maneuver it in there and intertwine it with the weave. But honey, it is not working. So I have color, of course. It's not going to work because I have the color. But I tried, y'all. I tried. I did a raw, a, a, a flexi raw set. I did, I just thought it would look like highlights. Like my hair is super long, I feel like. Yes, honey. But anyway, I thought it would be like highlights in the weave, and no, it did not look like highlights in the weave. It just looked kind of out of place. So I decided that I'm going to dye my leave out. I know this is crazy. I have a professional coloring in my hair that's three different colors, and it blends, and I'm so sad, but I'm going to have to mess that up here in this front. My leave out will be black, because this is black. Like... I asked for natural, but this is black. This is not natural. And the reason why it looks like this is because I did a co-wash. I really like it when it clumps up together. So that's what it's doing. It's just clumping up together. And I'm just going to separate it when I get ready to go out today. And fluff it up and add a little oil and it'll be good to go. But right now, I just, I'm just leaving it kind of clumped together. So I just kind of like that look. But what we're here to see is how I dyed this leave out jet black. I'm going to be using this. I don't know if you're familiar with this brand, ladies and gentlemen, but I got this from the Dollar Tree. I use this all the time. I know people might be skeptical about Dollar Tree dyes. Don't be. I use this dye all the time when I want to get black. I do this. This is a permanent cream hair color. Let's see if you guys can get it. This is the permanent cream hair color. It's at Dollar Tree for $1 and it has never stared me wrong. Today we're going to concentrate this on this leave out parts and even this front part of my hair that I have out. It's just gelled down right now. I'll go ahead and lift it up. See because this is where the sewing starts and I did this sewing myself. Yeah I did I know. And so yeah so this is the leave out in the front. And it's just kind of like, yeah, it's there. I just had it tucked behind my ear, but I'm about to dye all of that. So, this box is what we're going to be using today, of course. And when you open it up, you get your instruction sheet. You get the developer, this is the cream developer here. And it's just 1.4 fluid ounce. So, it's not a lot, but it's enough to do what I need to do. And then we have the color here. And this color is the jet black. It's 1.4 fluid ounce. And I'm just going to mix these two together and I'm going to shake it up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like in this bottle before I apply. instruction package you get these little fake look looking gloves I hate these gloves because they're not latex they do not grip your hand so if you have latex gloves or something it probably be better to go to the Dollar Tree while you're there grab a pack of gloves they have the latex gloves 10 in a pack but I of course forgot to do that so we're gonna be using these right here I'm also going to First, separate out this leave out. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so there we go. So this is what I'm working with. My leave out only. I'm separating this part of my leave out. Okay, I think this is about right. And I have this part out in the front, but I'm not going to bother with that. Because that is just slicked. See, this is like loose here. but yeah. So we're going to do this. So I'm just going to put this here 
over my bonnet over the other here that, that I will not be applying dye to. the dye and I just did a little slight bantu knot and I'm gonna let that sit on for probably about 15 to 20 minutes and we'll see what happens okay so this is what the black looks like now it's been actually about 10 minutes and this is what it looks like and I think I'm okay with to um, I think I'm okay to go ahead and rinse this bad boy out. Just let you guys see. It's looking pretty black. So this is my finished product. This is my hair. It is all dyed and blended in nicely and neatly. Um, I'm going to take you in a little bit closer. Uh, so you guys can see and of course my hair is not the same texture as Peruvian and I have heat damage in the front of my hair that I am growing out so I do have like some straight pieces here so I just did like a little twist out around another piece so I could kind of get that texture going but yeah this is what my hair looks like oh, if you can see this is what it looks like um, this is my um, natural hair is the new growth is really nicely curled um, has a really nice texture so I cannot wait for my hair to grow out but yeah I just slick the sides and put this back and yeah this is how it's looking so I'm super happy with these final results like it just looks like it's my hair when I was at work they thought it was my hair but I was like I know you know you can tell my hair is dyed and it's not blending so yeah quick fix one dollar 20 minutes of your time and yeah it looks awesome so i'm super excited i love this hair let me know if you guys want to see first impressions or review on this hair i ordered three bundles but i did not need this is like two bundles and like a little bit like that much yeah this is two bundles and it's completely full i mean i could have probably squeezed that other bundle in there but i didn't need it so i will be ordering some more of this hair in longer lengths because i can only See how it's clumping and you just separate it. Just like my natural hair, I would have separated it. I love it. And um, I'm going to order this in some long lengths. Can you imagine that? Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.